how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. If you know that you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning back here. Thank you for your love and your support. I really appreciate much. But if it is your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click on that notification bell. You will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you will always enjoy every content that I upload on this channel. So dear friends, in our today's video, oh my goodness, I'm very, very excited because <laughs> I'm going to be sharing with you a happily ever after love story of this beautiful couple <laughs> that I shared their How We Met video last year. So guys, today is the day we are going to be having lots of exclusive <laughs> update we are going to learn a lot especially you who is still on online dating apps searching for love because i know when you watch stories or videos like these they shine your eyes <laughs> you gain experience because hearing or watching people who have got enough experience especially on online dating or in relationships in general it really helps a lot also, I've been getting lots of comments. <laughs> Some of you be like, oh my God, KK's love story really inspired me so much. <laughs> and you would like to have an update about them. And not only KK and Graham, even other love stories that I've shared, I've been seeing you guys be like, we need an update. How are they doing? Are they still together, Bella? Such kind of questions. <laughs> So Graham and KK are here to give you an exclusive update of their happily ever after to inspire you who is still searching for love or you who is already in an interracial relationship. You are going to learn a lot, a lot, guys. So make sure you watch this video from the start till the end. And guys, I would like to use this opportunity to thank each and every one of you that went to support KK when I shared their How We Met video and you still support them. And if it is your first time to hear these names, Graham and KK, they have got a YouTube channel which goes by the name of House of KK. So please, if you haven't subscribed to their channel, go and give them the support. You are going to enjoy a lot watching them. They have got very, very interesting content that you will enjoy and get to learn from. So dear friends, without wasting much of your time, let me welcome this beautiful couple, Graham and KK. Welcome back, guys. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Um, Do you remember us? <laughs> oh my god, it's been well, a year. About a year, yes. Yeah, it's been a year, you guys. Uh, for those that don't know us, my name is Keke. And my name is Graham. Yes, and we shared with you guys, um, oh, Bella gave us you know, her platform to share with you guys how we met. Yes. Okay, we shared our story on Bella's platform a year ago. Yes. And we are pretty much coming back with an update yeah. of our happily ever after. Yeah. Was it a happily ever after? We'll find out. <laughs> um, you guys, um, like any other relationship, there's always ups and there's always down. Okay. Now, when you meet somebody for the first time, of course, you're in the honeymoon phase. Yeah. So it's all lovey dovey, lovey dovey. But what happens next when you've enloped? from one country to the other because of this person or what happens next when this honeymoon uh, phase you know, finishes, yeah. fades down and reality sets in you know because there's so much you know some of us jump into relationships um, with the thought of I'm gonna live this fabulous life I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that but what happens how do you deal with relationships and life when you know things go sideways what what, what do you do yeah. so um we're basically uh, back again to help you guys out um 
man to maneuver through yeah. that do you know what i mean because at the end of the day there's so many women out there who are like me who are african and men who are caucasian so we've got our culture clashes already yes um we've all grown up in separate um yeah. uh, backgrounds or cultures countries so th yeah. there's there's bound to be a clash uh, there's bound to be miscommunication yeah. so we're just here to help you guys give you some tips um of how to maneuver through that or how to strengthen your relationship through that so you don't end up breaking up with your partner which is important although there was some specific stuff that was relevant to us that, that happened to us that, that we will discuss yeah. in the next so we are going to obviously discuss and yeah. give you guys examples of and, and tell you what we've been through um, since the the How We Met video because with the How We Met video I think at that point in time we were getting ready to literally go back to Uganda yes. for Graham to visit my family yes okay um, now some of you already know the story some of you that don't know the story but with a little background uh, Graham and I met on Tinder that's right about two years ago two years ago and a year, an anniversary coming up yeah and a year ago we moved in together yeah and you guys we had big plans we mm. had big plans of i grew up here in the uk um so i never had to come from africa or anything like that i grew up here um so at that point in time we were planning well we were planning to take Graham to Uganda to meet my family yes okay and you guys everything just went sideways because we never made it no we haven't yet <laughs> no we have not um, but we still plan to anyway but yeah we never made it simply because we faced a quite few challenges back to back um, certainly around work and all the rest of it yeah there was there was wasn't ideal and then but then there was some specific challenges which we'll, we'll cover off yeah yeah one of the reasons we didn't make it to uganda was uh because you got pregnant yes okay <laughs> right this was round about i don't know march april time was it something like that yeah yeah so we're intended actually going before christmas but work commitments and all that kind of kibosh that so the plan was that we'd probably move out there in the beginning of the year mm -hmm. but then kk got pregnant right and it was absolutely brilliant i mean we were absolutely over the moon and obviously that put paid to any plans that we had about moving yeah and you were pregnant for the first month or so right absolutely mm -hmm. delighted and then if we're being absolutely honest and, and we get a little bit emotional even thinking about this and bringing it up again but we want to share it with you uh, unfortunately around about week five of your pregnancy uh, she lost the baby she had a miscarriage yeah you know now apart from all the cultural issues which and apart from all the we were moved in together and Tia was with us and building that relationship we really had to face into that really emotional turmoil to be perfectly honest mm -hmm. and we wouldn't wish that on anyone but if that happens you've got to understand that that can put a strain on anybody's relationship yes. whether it's interracial inter relationships or not doesn't make any difference and to be fair that was a really really tough time for us it was a tough time for us all it was particularly a tough time for KK yeah. and uh, just coming up to the, the, the spring summer uh, this year was really really difficult for her yeah yeah what, so how would you put that so you guys um so yes so we moved in with Graham literally in March yeah um around what was it when when did I get pregnant right about April, April. Uh, so April I get pregnant now imagine we've just moved in together so everything is new mm -hmm. we're still getting used to um living with a man first of all I'm getting used to living with a man which I've never done um same with Tia as well yeah. you know so we're still trying to figure out that life yeah and then I'll go pregnant yeah. and you guys we were overjoyed because yeah we wanted a baby you yeah, know we, did. we were overjoyed and then the miscarriage happened which 
everything just came crumbling down because yeah. this is something that Graham has never experienced and I never experienced, no. you know. And um, going through that, there was a lot of pain. Pain. Bitterness. There was a lot of bitterness. Regret. Um, regret. There was, was a, terrible emotions. Even like just blaming each other. Yeah. There was, yeah. Why did it happen? It was, Why? Yeah. It, it, it was a dark time. Yeah, it was very a dark much. time. Yeah. And I was depressed. Yes. I mean, I was I, I was off work. I was just the depressed. Pieces all the time yeah um i didn't want to do anything i didn't want to go anywhere i didn't want to get out of bed i didn't i didn't want to do anything you know and i think at one point i might have shut you out at, at a certain point yeah because there were i, I was just arguing a lot and yes you guys it was it was not an ama- it, it was not a good time for um any of us because in the process tia was also affected um I mean, I don't know how this affects other people, but to be honest, I did genuinely feel that our relationship could have been destroyed at that point. Yeah. And we had to work really, really hard at maintaining it mm-hmm. and really hard cooperating with each other the best way we could. And that, that realisation that, you know, this this could really end this. Yeah. So we, we both worked really, really hard at trying to maintain our relationship because it was... Uh, it was definitely creaking at that point, wasn't it? Yeah. And 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 it was and the thing was, it was no one's fault. It was just fate. It was just God's will. Yeah. But it was no one's fault. And I think when once we realised that, because I think you blamed yourself a lot as well too. Because mm-hmm. I remember you saying, you know, I'm I'm young, I'm fit, I've never had any problems before. Yeah. Why has this happened? Yeah. And you were kind of putting the blame on yourself. And I had to. I had to kind of keep reassuring you and, and working with you and, and being trying to be as positive that it was nothing to do with you mm-hmm. and it was just one of these things and to be fair the medical the medics were good at that as well too yeah but yeah it was a really really dark time and I can understand why people would break up under that part you know what I mean of course yes yeah. you guys um, so for us one of the so for me now um, the good thing as well is because I have so I will encourage um, all of you to speak to people right Mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily have to be your partner speak to somebody it can be a relative it can be a friend anybody um, you can confide in or a, or a group chat or, or a yeah. group chat yeah or like a support system a support somebody so, yes, you can trust yes. confide in them and um, just have somebody to talk to yeah. that can give you good advice. That's maybe been through it, yeah. yeah. Um, for me, I was I looked onto my sisters mainly, and I would tell them everything. Now, this was at a point where I was shutting Graham out, or mm. I was beginning to shut him out, yeah. because we were all just blaming each other. Yeah. Like every the sight of him and Tia would just was enough to piss me off mm. um, but I would talk to my sisters and explain to them what was happening, how I was feeling and they were able to you know like guide me and talk to me and um, encourage me and give me very very good advice you know and yeah. one of that advice would be is you guys when you're going through such a situation don't shut your partner uh, out Absolutely. Be verbal um, speak up yeah express try and express yourself try and express your feelings um yeah if they're not hearing you try and and find a way of them to hear you now when i say that what i'm trying to say is that don't look for when you're already in a heated argument or anything like that find moments in the day where things are good yeah. He's calm, you're calm, you can discuss and just things. sit him down and discuss mm. things. And we, did, and we did a lot of that. Yeah, and, and express yourself. Yeah. Because the more you do that, the more you let them in, the more they will open up as well and let you in, and then you'll be able to discuss and solve things and work together instead of yes. working by yourself. And you guys end up, you know, dragging apart. 
and, and, and that, that, that communication between us actually worked very, very well. Because in those lucid moments, like we did have that conversation around, look, let's sit down and rationally discuss this. And to be fair to me and Tia, and I hope you agree with this, her and I, and she was brilliant as well too, because she kept coming up with ideas. Her and I did try to bring you out of that and pull you out of that, because yeah. we organised surprise days out for her. Mm -hmm. We were lucky because it was coming up to summer, the weather was good. Yeah. We took you out for nice lunches, we took you for drives, yeah. we took you, you know, to nice even places. Even walks. Yeah. Even, even just walks, just to, just to kind of, you know, get you centred again. So. Yeah, yeah. And also, you guys, just also be considerate. Yes, um, you know, most women might say it's it's me, it's happening to me, and I did say that quite a lot as well. Where I was like, but it's happening to me, it's my yeah. body. I'm having to go through this. Yeah, I'm yeah. having to see everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's understandable. It's you're the one going through it, but also just try as much as you can to have an open mind because yes, you're physically going through it, but the people that are around you are emotionally going through it as well and physically going through it as well because you yeah. know they're right next to you so just try and be considerate and think of them and think hold on if i was in graham's shoes how would i be feeling you know mm -hmm. if i was in tia's shoes how would i be feeling as a child of that age so try and it's hard but it's worth it yeah. yeah it's worth it so in terms of since you last saw us that's obviously been a huge huge downer yeah. for us uh, in that terms of that for, for yeah, some months for some months yeah and then because we really wanted to have a baby we did we really really wanted to have a baby mm -hmm. uh, we had a really really tough decision as to whether we wanted to do it like, try again or not yeah and uh yeah, well, we did. We did. We did try again, yes. right? And the good news was, right? And one of, in terms of the the, the positive here, uh, you did get pregnant again. Yes, right. Which guys, is really really we good. We tried again, but at the same time, between that period, because now this is June that we're talking about, yeah. right? Um, and then by the time I got pregnant, that was beginning of December, yeah. right? So there's a few months in between there. Yeah where in july i felt like okay you know the doctors they gave us the go ahead i was yeah. okay everything was fine and uh, we were given the go ahead of trying again and you guys i went crazy you know mm. because we had gone through that i wanted that child like yesterday yesterday do you know what i mean so i went crazy i was on apps ovulation apps yeah, yeah, yeah. strips like it became a job where i was like graham it's, it's time let's go whether you like it or not. it actually became it <laughs> no. well i mostly liked it but, it, but it, 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 it it became an obsession to be honest with her yeah. yes it became an obsession yeah and that that was just born out of obviously what had happened and the frustration yes so let, let, let's fast forward now to december right yeah. and one of these ovulation strips and these pregnancy tests you took <laughs> and you can see in our video back then uh, it, yeah she, she got pregnant and she announced that she was pregnant which was absolutely fantastic news and to be honest that was like a pressure valve coming off you as well too yeah. you know it just released all that tension and it was really really good news and we were absolutely and abjectly delighted yeah and about four weeks into your pregnancy right you took Ill. And when we started to research it, and then you've been speaking to some other people that have been through the same thing, you've been mm -hmm. in contact with some mm -hmm. people, it's a more widespread problem than you would actually think. Yeah. Uh, so guys, so we've used our experience, or what we've been through, to share our story yeah. and share how we managed to overcome these, overcome problem. these problems. Yeah. But it, it might, in your case, it might be something else. It might be that you're arguing over maybe financial, it's yeah. a financial situation. It might be maybe children. It might, it, it, it can be, be all sorts. It's not necessarily that no, being that, sick or no. miscarriage or whatever. It can be anything. But what we're trying to advise you on is communicate with your partner. Yeah. 
Speak to your partner. Speak to your partner. Speak to your partner. Share your feelings. Share your feelings. Share yeah. how you feel. There's so many times that I left the room, or I would call you, and I would just be like, Graham, this is how I'm feeling. Yeah. This is how I'm feeling. See, when I mentioned blah 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 yesterday, and you did like this, this is how you made me feel. Yeah. You know, and that was enough to open up a conversation of, oh no, that's not what I meant. Yeah. This is what I meant. In case if I picked it up the wrong way, you know, that kind of a thing. And that goes to culture and um, differences and yeah. how we express ourselves differently and, yes, yes. you know, really. we communicate differently. So yeah. if we don't communicate and, and like express our feelings with our partner or talk to them, you know, you might misinterpret things along the way. Yeah, um, yeah that's a good point. Yeah, so so guys i had to take a pause and say something first of all i am very very sorry to you graham and kk for what you went through i know it can be very very painful a very very hard situation but in all this we say thank you god because he helped you guys to overcome it Second, I am so glad that you guys came out and talked about this. This video, I am very sure, will help lots, lots of couples out there that are going through the same situation that you went through. Because I know in that situation, especially ladies, be like, maybe it's only me that is going through this kind of a situation. But the truth is, it's not only you we have had kk and graham they went through same same thing even recently there is a couple that i shared their love story here went through the same situation yeah the miscarriage and it was really really bad it happened at the moment that was oh my god very crucial when these people had planned you know to get married and everything was ready and then boom a miscarriage the lady was really really down i know you're here watching this let me hope kk and graham's words will give you some sort of a relief will give you hope will inspire you because guys the truth is in hard situations that is when we be like i am so unlucky why is that god has decided to do this to me god where are you why did you allow this but one thing we always forget when we are in hard times is that that's how life is so even if it is your downtime keep trusting in god keep praying if it is your uptime still keep trusting in god and keep praying keep god in your life always no matter the situation that you are in this moment and also i really loved when keke said even if it is not a miscarriage situation maybe you are going through other challenges in life like i said life is full of ups and downs remember god is with you everything will be fine so do not think that maybe you got a miscarriage it is going to keep on being like that no do not think maybe you're not finding a job you will never find a job no do not think that right now no one is responding to your messages i've been getting this a lot oh my god bella no one is responding to my messages guys are not reaching out it is quiet 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 i'm even giving up no that is down time up time will come okay so instead of giving up keep pushing because that situation will never remain like that okay dear sisters i hope all this might help you in any way though i know when you are facing a challenge and you are in that difficult situation no matter how the words can be really encouraging you know inspiring it's hard to take away the pain that you are going through that is why i'm saying it might help you in any way taking away the pain i know it won't but seeing this couple that went through same same situation and they overcame it just know that that too shall come to pass so 
So that, that, that's where we were at that point. Yeah. But things have improved, yes. right? And what everybody really, I think, wants to know is, where are you right now? What's, what's happening right now? So right now, I'm at the end of our second trimester. Yeah. I'm doing good. And baby is thriving. <laughs> baby is thriving. Baby is growing, you guys. Um, honestly, uh, we just found out the gender of our baby as well recently. Yeah. So yeah. We, we, right now, we're just getting ready. To welcome our rainbow yes. baby you guys yes which now we can see the light at the end of the tunnel Absolutely. finally the other thing i want to say is that going through this the whole of last year every obstacle we went through last year even the beginning of this year i just want to thank god because Absolutely, he's, he's pulled us through it all, yes, and for a purpose as well, yeah. And yeah. he has brought us even closer, absolutely, and stronger, yes, you know. And we have a, a different or a unique communication now that we just don't if talk. I was to shout about something, <laughs> yeah. um, Graham will understand what I'm trying to mean. Like, I would not easily offend him or hurt his feelings because he knows. Okay, when KK does this or sounds like this, it's a hormone it shouting. It means like this, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or she might shout, but it doesn't mean that she's pissed off or angry. It's just the face she's in at you know that little moment. Yeah. You know, um, and I've noticed that because sometimes you will you will say something else to to like change my mood or yeah. change my thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's I not feel the like we've grown. We have, I mean, yeah. and we've even become like how can I say like friends better you know friends yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's been amazing it has I mean it's worked out really really well so we've gone through real lows then we've gone through some more real lows yeah. and then we've gone through some more real lows but now we're absolutely on a high and we're yeah. really really she's, at the moment she's fit she's healthy Baby's fit and healthy, yeah. and we're really super excited to be welcoming baby very yes, soon. Yes, we cannot wait, you guys, and oh, we cannot wait. We cannot wait. We're going into the summer. Um, this is gonna be a summer baby, yeah. and eventually, now, you guys, what we we're supposed to do last year, we're gonna be able to do it this year. Yes. Um, yes. As long as you know, baby's okay, and I'm okay after our birth. We plan on obviously finally going to Uganda. Yes. For Graham to meet my family. Yes. And also my family to meet the baby. Yeah. No, the baby. Oh, to meet the baby. Oh, I'd, forgo I'd <laughs> forgotten about the, the baby there for a split the second. Right? How well. could I have done that? So, right? yeah, so they're going to get to meet him I and the baby. I kind of feel time. that I'll be the second in that, that relationship. <laughs> Everybody will want to see the baby, Everybody which is fine. I, 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 I don't mind that. We, we, we can't wait to see baby either. Yeah, so, uh, which is so exciting. Um, my family can't wait, obviously and yeah so it, it's all good and it's all positive just now uh, yes. and as i said we're really super excited to meet baby uh, if we could ask you right when when you see this in bella's channel just uh, please pray for us that baby arrives fit and healthy yes yeah we really really ask the lord for that that the baby's fit and healthy and that as much as i would wish tia and Kiki that uh, they all live long happy full healthy lives so if you'd pray for that for us we really really would appreciate it so friends i think you have heard what graham said your prayers are very very important so if you are a pastor watching this video now we need your prayers if you believe in god we need your prayers let us pray for kk let us wish her all the best so that eventually we get to see our auntie god keeps on protecting her let us all pray for her family too thank you so much guys and i believe guys you're going to pray for her and wish her well Appreciate amen it. Uh, it's great to be back in Bella's channel a year yeah. after. Uh, 
we hope we haven't depressed you too much. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, because because it was all kind of doom and gloom. But we, we do want to leave on a really happy note that things are great for us just now. Yes. Uh, we've had a whirlwind two years. Uh, yes, there's been obstacle, obstacles put in our way, but we'd like to think that we've overcome them together. Yes. And that as, as uh, KK said, our relationship's grown even stronger. It's gone from strength to strength. And uh, I really, really hope that continues for eternity. Yes, you guys. And now we're going to be a family of four. We're going to be a family of four. So, you know, uh, and we, we may touch base with Bella again and let you know and give you an update, see how things are going. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah. So, guys, um, before we leave, yeah. I think we can show you the... The baby bump. The baby bump, yeah, yeah, we'd like to, <laughs> to see that. To close off the video. But before we do, uh, we just want to say a massive thank you to Bella for again giving us this platform, her platform yes. to come back and share with you guys, you know, um, what's been going on after a year since, you know, we shared our story. Yeah. Um, Bella is doing an amazing job sharing all these success stories. Um, and encouraging other people who are, you know, in search of their love, uh, yeah. their partners or yeah. in search of love. Good luck to everyone. Yeah, yeah. and good luck to everybody that is still um, searching. Also, um, one last tip. Yes, ladies, if you're online, if you are on the online datings, please take your time. Um, put God first. Yeah. And always, 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 please um don't undervalue yourself right. okay um have your values have your priorities straight and know what you want okay when you know what you want nobody can come and divert you into something else and don't let anybody divert you into something else because you're looking for love or you you, you, you yeah, want to I have just, somebody yeah. so badly. No. Yeah. Take your time on these websites. Be very, 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 very careful. Okay? Yeah. And just leave everything to God. God's timing is the best timing. You want to God control everything so that when you do find somebody that is the right person for you. The yeah. person that will treat you right. The person that will be patient with you. The person that will support you. The person that you know, we'll go through thick and thin with you, okay? And then again, you guys, yes, we have a huge age gap. Also, don't judge, okay? Don't judge. Be open. If you match with somebody who's a lot older than you, give them a chance. You never know where things are going to go. Mm. If the person is younger than you, give them a chance. You never know. You never know. Until so you try. You never know when you try. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Everybody's soulmate is born at different times. Mm. So, yeah. So, excellent. So, show them our happily ever after then, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not sure you do this. Let me, I'll move my chair, I think. Um, I think you guys will be able to see. Can you see? Um, <laughs> This is our little rainbow baby. <laughs> oh wow, congratulations KK and Graham. We are very, very happy for you guys. <laughs> and we can't wait to see our cute, cute auntie. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, guys. So yeah, back, we are healthy and we're thriving. Yeah. And we just pray to God to bless our baby and everything, you know, um, will be well. And yeah, and hopefully you guys will sh hopefully come back one day and share with you how that our way. Uganda trip went. Yes, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So it's been lovely speaking to you all again. Yes. You know? yes. yes. We wish you guys all the best. Okay. God bless. God bless. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So guys, another thing that I wanted to say about this video for you all that are online dating apps, site searching, I've been advising you while you are online searching for the love of your life, make sure you search for a quality man. And one time I talked of a man who is mentally mature. So we see the importance of having a man who is mentally mature, like Graham, 
When challenges comes, he will not run away from you or run away from those challenges or even frustrate you the more. No, he's gonna stick with you. You're going to fight that challenge together. Because the truth is, I've said this already, life is full of challenges. And I've been telling you, you are searching that. You know, while searching you face, you know, challenges, men playing games on you, ghosting you, and you'll be there like, oh my God, I'm so, so tired. Why am I facing all these challenges? But when you finally find that right man, challenges keeps on coming. You go into different challenges. If you live in different countries, then you have visa challenges. If you have to do long distance relationship, then you have long distance relationship challenges. Some of you get married, but you find that the family of the guy, they don't like you. They hate you or they tend not to trust you because they think maybe you married their son for papers. This has happened a lot. After a couple gets married and in marriage, they have this big challenge of the family of the guy interfering, wanting to tear them apart. So challenges keeps on coming. A guy needs to be mentally mature. If Graham wasn't mentally mature, they couldn't have been here telling their happily ever love story. So dear friends, before I end this video, I want to say thank you so much, Graham and Keke, for coming back here with your update, your happily ever after. May God bless you. And yes, I'm hoping to see you again here with an update <laughs> of how everything went when you went to Uganda. I know. <laughs> I know that you have got good, good plans, exciting ones. We are here. We'll be waiting, you know, for the update. Thank you once again. Guys, please, please go and support this couple on their channel, House of KK. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. So, guys, so, if you have liked this video, enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Please watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. Don't forget to comment below what you think about this video i would like to know and if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please please join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.